bitch. Hey everybody, it's Mega Blast, and welcome back for some more. No, it's not. It's not Mario Kart 8. Welcome back for some more Super Smash Bros. Brawl. In the last part, we did the lake. Not the jungle, the lake. And we also did a half episode by beating Dark Bowser. And in this part, we are going to go to the Ruined Zoo to meet a familiar Earthbound character for who you all know, except for the ones who don't play Earthbound. Or Mother, for that fact. I haven't. When I was younger, but I've been introduced to it. Poor Pokey Physics, that's it. I'm not gonna do Pokemon in the book anymore. <laughs> Just gonna describe them. Alright, we're getting chased by Metal Man. A big rocky f portion of who, who knows who. Of course you guys might, but I'm not gonna tell the ones who don't know. Because he will show up. As a boss later. Yes, there will be a second boss in this game. Which is that big man right there. That is chasing us. He will actually be the one who will be, in the, be the cause of all this. So these are the new enemies. They're called copters. I know that from memory. Copters spill out nasty fire stuff. Like fire food or something. Or, I think they're called Buckots. Anyway, for those Buckots or Copters, their specialty is spilling out fiery stuff, which will burn you and give you a lot of damage. And yeah, you're not, you won't be squished by the Metal Man if you actually don't make it. But it would, it would be a problem. He does a lot of damage. That much. I just want to illustrate. Can you quit it? All right. So the metal man fell. Yay! He he got beaten. Nope. Thought so. <laughs> Ow! I died. Yes! It's time for the next character of Earthbound! Ness! Which is also known... Oh yeah, Ness is the one from Earthbound. Yep! You had him, you had him coming! He, he is... Pokey! From Earthbound, the final boss of Earthbound and Mother, I think. Well, supposedly Earthbound was Mother 2, but they changed it for the cool looks of it. I don't even know why I'm losing my dialogue or speeches that, what, that much. But, basically Porky, not Pokey. Oh yeah, Porky is from Earthbound because it's basically a robot invention made by Pokey. Now it's Ness's turn to illustrate. I think po Porky is actually from Mother 3. But it's the invention made from Pokey in Earthbound. And we're done! We beat it, Porky. 
the n nasty pig robot. Oh, I didn't collect the third sticker right before the cutscene. Nash was trying to dodge it, and then he protected Lucas to turn himself into a statue. <laughs> and when Wario gets his prize, Nasty Thunder and Rain comes. I really wish that thunder zapped him, but it didn't. It's time for my favorite trainer from my most favorite game. My first most Pokemon trainer. I love Pokemon and Mario. But I like Pokemon the most. When well, he has them inside is a Squirtle. Basically, Squirtle is a water turtle Pokemon. It's a pre evolved form of my favorite final evolved form, Blastoise but slow but it makes sense why you would put Squirtle on the team instead and there is one thing that is very cute in mind that I never got to comment there it you did not use the bomb correctly Squirtle dear well Squirtle Meister I love my dear Pokemon Love them as, love them as the Pokemon they are. Love them as sons or brothers. I love them as family. That's it. Aurora, you will be mine. Oh, you will be mine. Ow! Roar! Yeah, I got. The Fruit Statue! Supposedly scary, but not. It's not as scary as you think it is. It's actually very easy. Ah! But it looks scary because of the spirit and ghosts and stuff coming out of it. Why do you even exist? I'm not gonna get through. I'm gonna press B. I'm gonna press B. I can't press B and down, but I will press B and up. Well, I'll press B and up all the time. As I please. Oh, wow. Primid, you'll be mine. I didn't get Primid. I got Boom Primid last time. But now I got Primid. I hate flows! So, the cute thing that I saw from Facebook that I didn't comment is Teenage Mutant Ninja Squirtles. I always thought that was cute and I've never known that until now. Four squirrels becoming ninjas. And, from the older series of Pokemon, there were four Squirtles gathered for each other for pranks. But then, Ash caught a Squirtle by it wanting to be caught. These are called Bitons. They do attack, but they're also, their other ability is very annoying copying themselves, but in different colors. They may look the same, but when they're grouped together, they actually do lots of damage. There's also big bitons, which are also just called bitons, but they I call them giant bitons. Because they do tons of damage to you. What 
what is that? We'll see. Okay, it's not. It's from Animal Crossing. I know that for sure. It's not from Pokemon. It is from Animal Crossing. Yeah! You shall be defeated by the Squirtle! You shall be embarrassed by Squirtle! Sorry if I'm clicking buttons everywhere. But what else do I... What other choice do I have? Alright, this is the final form of the stage of the Ruined Zoo. I'm invincible by the pyramids. For the pyramids. You will not hurt me for 10 seconds. I'll eat my chocolate, thank you, and then I'll go in this door. This door is actually a bonus to get this item over here. A Chikorita! Also not in the book. But, I'm, but I won't even bother describing it in the book. Chikorita is from the Hoenn region. I was wrong. It's from the Sinnoh region. Crap. I was wrong. I really hate how I get wrong. It evolves into a bay leaf, at which I made a pun out of it in the last pl let's play, by swinging with a leaf for P.T. Piranha. And then it evolves into... So I don't remember. I don't even... Darn it. Why don't I remember? And imagine, fire permits are weak to fire. <laughs> but it doesn't go to super effectiveness. That's not their weakness. Water is their weakness. Though they don't look like it, it really is their weakness. Okay, that's it. Oh, you! Uh. Ah, there it is! There's his exit! Just a little more! I wanna battle these chickens first! And I never got to... He... I never g I never got to use Lucas! Jeez, why can't I talk? Pokemon Trainer, also known as Ash... Yeah, the Pokemon trainer who you see is named Ash, but his bag is different. Has three Pokemon. So there's Trickorita, along with Flo and Primid and Tim Tommy and Timmy Nook. And then there is... Oh, General Guy! Oh, I, I love that game! I love Paper Mario! I miss that game so much! I'm so glad the new game is coming up! Soon! It's coming up! Well, not soon. It's coming up in I, probably four months. New Year's Eve. Well, no. One day before. It's coming up in December 30th. It's called Paper Mario Color Splash. I love it! I love the idea of it! I saw that on Amazon! Of course it will be $60, but... Mm, I'm not... scared of it. The Battlefield Fortress. You'll get to see... the most annoying enemy of all time, and my most favorite Fire Emblem character of all time. Huge cut right there. Alright, here we go. Fire Emblem character Marth. 
There's only two in the game. But they place a Kirby character with it. You'll see who that is. No one shall defeat Marth. The Primage won't either. And yes, surprising thing is, I am also going to put this on a half episode if I don't complete it in the total time. So the minimum of what I want to do it on is 2 minutes, and the maximum would be 8 minutes. That would be counted as a half episode, right? Of course, for Cherry Conway, his maximum was for his half episode, but he doesn't do half episodes now. 50 seconds for minimum, and maximum was 2 minutes and a half. Seems so, seems short, but, I, but no matter what, I actually do like watching 10 minute Let's Plays. It's true. Why don't I make 10 minute Let's Plays myself? It was, it was a waste a lot of time. Besides, I would I would need to not do 10 minute let's plays all the time. It would get boring and then I would get less views. That's why I did 20 minutes instead. And I was planning to do a live stream, but it failed. I was going to use it for 50 subscribers. I got 53 now. Thanks a lot, guy. Thank no. Thanks, guys, for subscribing for me. It's it's really worth it because with you guys' luck, I actually do very well in the game. The more subscribers I get, the better my luck. Not saying you should subscribe to me, but I am planning to get 100 soon, so that I'll subscribe so that. Oh, not me. I can't subscribe to my own videos. Sadly. Really wish I did. Surely you guys can, but I can't. If you are YouTubers, I cannot subscribe to myself. All right. I'm gonna try to get you. Yeah! I got Armite. I got the Armite statue. I think there was an item door in the in the fortress, but I don't have enough time. Here comes the most annoying enemy I hate all the time. After this, after this. Yes, always press B when you when there's a, troubles like this. This is my most annoying enemy ever. It is called Rollers. Why are they annoying? Because they move a lot. And when I try to turn them into statues to see what they look like, no, they ignore me. They don't, they just move all they want. It's so annoying. If you press this button, primits and, well, more enemies spawn, but it will be worth the points. I'm invincible, you shall not beat me! I don't even care by pressing the button. Wow! You jumped. That's why I call you the most annoying enemy ever! Are you kidding? Wow, I can't even turn them into statues now. And I'm about to do. to. do a half episode. Yes! Kirby character Mennonite! We shall be Mennonite! Mennonite is a Kirby character that got flung away from his halberd! Not sure why, but it's true. 
Manag is surprisingly in earlier KB games, Kirby, Kirby games, he was an enemy of Kirby, but then he turned into a good guy afterwards. Of course he didn't show up in Kirby 64 to Crystal Shards. Of course he didn't show up in Kirby's Dreamland, and of course he didn't show up in Kirby's Dreamland 2. But he started his approval in Kirby Avalanche. That's how he got his entrance. Yes, I got ads about that too. Well, I'm gonna save this for a half episode. See you guys then.